Well, welcome to video number six, which is rear chain adjustment. Um, in video number five, you will have seen that I put on some near original suspension units and a new chain guard. Um, when it was all tightened up, including the front, um, the front stay, which you didn't see, the um, the chain guard has nicely settled into exactly where I wanted it. So there is about two to three mil clearance um, on the uh, on the suspension here, which is perfect because they're all fixed together on the uh, on the swinging arm, of course. So nothing's going to go anywhere. And when you when you push the chain right over and have a look up in the hole, I don't know if I can get that with the camera. Let's have a go. Uh, where are we? you can see that there is a gap of uh, a few millimetres, about four mil, between the chain and the chain guard bracket. Let's come out of there a bit. There, look, you see there's a nice gap there of about four, four or five mil, maybe even, uh, yeah, probably about four or five mil from this actual bracket where it goes up inside here. So that's comforting that there's no way the chain can hit the chain guard. And uh, when I spin the wheel, you don't hear any rattling of teeth rubbing over rivets or anything or uh, you know what I mean so there we go so next it, but the next thing we have to deal with uh, is let's get it around the right way for you the next thing we have to deal with is of course the chain which is now overly slack because we've changed the place of the swinging arm so let's put you uh, in your little stand here again to see what's going on there we go let's have a look at that that'll do <clears throat> we'll lower the bike take that off so we should be able to remove our bits of wood this is where it becomes precarious Yeah, that'll do. I'll just hold this to make sure that we don't have any great dramas. Excellent. Okay, that had me worry for a moment when it went over onto the stand. However, good job. So there we have it. I strongly recommend one of these if you haven't got one. I'll just quickly show you it. It actually does turn by hand if you take the weight off of it. So you can see the principle that it will go up quite a considerable amount uh, and is um, super strong. So let's put that out of the way for a minute because that's not relevant to the video. I have, uh, because I'm new to the Harley, the only, let's see where we're, what we're looking like here, hang on. Just check you out first. Okay, good. Yeah, that will do because the bike is more important, not my face. Uh, the only I bought two sets of AF spanners, but the only ones I have that fit the axle are these AFs here, and they seem to do the job for now. I will buy the correct spanners because it's something I'm going to need. I've read the manual and it says half an inch of play. So I think first of all is to take the worst out of the, the, um, the chain so we get somewhere in the right field. Uh, I've slackened off the uh, lock nut and so and I, they're on the tips of the, the, um, the flats, they're on the, uh, the points of them. So I'm going to go a one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Okay, that's tight. So I'm gonna back that off and go five. Okay, so that's five flats with nobody sitting on it yet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, how are we doing? I never really know how tight, I don't like things too tight because I don't think it does the bearings any good. So I like to leave a little bit of play. Um, it says with the bike upright and the rider is seating on it, or sitting on it rather. So let's do that. So with my weight there. tight maybe even worth coming back one one flat as a personal a personal preference let's go back one to there yeah no it's, that's a bit too loose okay let's go back to where we were I think we were right the first time maybe half no let's go go up one flat in the middle that's better yeah we do that okay so let's lock that up and see And see uh, if that adjusts the chain. If, it, if the chain moves, Right, the, the nut feels, um, I don't know, it feels like soft, like you're going to strip the threads. I don't like that, I've bottled out on that, so I've just done that up as um, sensibly tight for a real axle, for a, a, a rear axle Newton meters, because I... I will get a socket set to fit that and I can put a torque wrench on it but for now I would be comfortable driving down the road, riding down the road rather, um, with a nut done up that tight. Yeah, the nut was actually not far off hand tight when I took it off. So uh, that was a bit uh, dodgy. But I think that's sensible, that won't go damaging any bearings. So I'm going to pinch up the lock nuts when I find the other spanner. There it is. So let's get them whizzed up to there. And I think the Americans call it a cinch nut, don't they, I think? Anyway, I have this suitably stylish long cone which is in keeping with the rest of the bike. A little bit of character. So let's do that one. There we go. 
So what I'm going to do is move you fellas back out the way. So that's sitting on it, and there's no flop in that, it, there's give in it, but there's no flop. I don't like it any tighter than that. Um, it's always something, I've always been a bit sympathetic to chains. So let's put that there. Just because I'm just going to wipe my fingers. So, so now we're faced with, take you off the strap, I think, because we're getting near the end here. There we go. So you can see now that the exhaust pipes are nicely parallel with the ground and the seat rail is parallel with the ground. Personally, I'm, I think that looks better. I did like the lowness of the bobber, but um, I think that looks more, the bike looks more planted and how it should be. Um, and when I get the exhaust system made with the silencers, uh, they won't be sloping down either because it was a, what do you do with them? Do you fit them in on the piss or do you uh, have them nice and level? So um, I haven't given the chain guard a polish up, but you can see the back end now, instead of it being black, has a little bit of chrome. Okay, I mean black is all the rage, but uh, it's not my taste personally. I might even get the wheels, um, the rims chromed again. So there we are, that's it for now. That's what the bike looks like at the moment. I still think it looks nice. I don't think it detracts from it, it's still got character. And I'm still pleased to go out and have a little pose with it. Okay, take care, we'll see you in the next video, which will be about the next thing I've bought which is a toolbox um, because that way I'll have petrol and tools and I can go anywhere and do anything. Now I'm not sure whether that's going to go there or whether I could put that down there say or that way. I don't know yet. It's, it's what's going to work. You see, um, it doesn't look too bad down, down low. I don't know if I've got that in the right place. I'm trying to guess where it's going to be or whether it would be better there or there. Probably something like that might work. Or we'll tuck it in there. You know, I could make brackets off the mudguard stay. Um, something like that wouldn't look too bad. Um, I mean, if I bought the other hand, no, it doesn't work, does it? I think maybe Maybe something like that. Let's bring that back and see if you can see that. I don't know. I'll have a play. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye for now.